Let's take a look at the computer competency component of the recruitment test. Now in this section, there are two main areas that you need to address to complete the computer competency. Now the first one is that you need to be able to format a document properly. So when you're tested on this particular element, you need to be familiar with Microsoft Word. And if you are, you'll probably find this okay. If you're not using Microsoft Word, but you're using an alternative like Google Docs, you'll still probably find this um, task um, reasonably straightforward to do. So let's have a look at what's required in this particular part of the test. Now, format a document is what you need to do. You'll need to format the unformatted sample document to match the formatted target document. Okay, so let's have a look at what that might look like um, so we can go through an example together. Okay, so on the right hand side of the screen, you can see the document that you'll be provided with or something similar to this. It's unformatted, the text is all over the place. There's no headings, there's no dot points, nothing's bold. It seems to be all aligned to the right hand side of the page, which is not normal. On the left hand side here, we see the final document. Now we need to match our original document to the document on the left hand side here. So basically we've got to make this one over here look like this one over here. Now that's going to require a little bit of effort, it can be time consuming and you're going to have to work fairly quickly to get through this in the time limit. So the first thing you might want to do is to select all of this text and align it to the left uh, which is a little bit easier to read and a little more normal because that's the first thing. I'm starting to get to work now on formatting this document so that it looks like the one that I've been uh, provided with that I have to match. So the very first uh, line at the top here, my computer pre-entry test. I go over to the one that I'm working with and I would expect that it would be the first line here, but it's not. So I might even have to go looking for that particular part, the title, find it in this document and put it where it needs to be, which of course is all part of your ability to format. So I can see it just down here. So I'm gonna take that out of that spot and just put it up the top for now so I can work with it. Now you'll notice that it needs to be changed from normal text to probably a heading one or a heading two. Um, it might need the, uh, the lowercase m to be changed to a capital, as you can see over here. Uh, other things that might be required, you might have to put paragraphs in, in, uh, in position here, like so. There's some other things that need to be bolded, and I'm just going to select anything for now, but uh, you might have to bold it and then bring it to the center. Um, there might be a space between you know, that particular one, maybe it's a quote or something similar. So this kind, of, this kind of work is what you need to do. There's some information over here on the left too that's underlined. So again, just to grab anything for the sake of demonstrating it, you might need to find the appropriate key to select or tool to use to format it in the same way. Okay, so there's a bit of an example of what the document formatting task looks like. And let's go on now to have a look at the typing component, which is the next part of the computer competency test. All right, so the typing skills, that's fairly straightforward. You need to be able to demonstrate your typing skills, your familiarity with the keyboard, given that you'll be using the keyboard, writing reports and statements and so on, on a regular basis. It's probably no surprise that they wanna know that you can type. So let's have a look at the task. You'll need to be able to type 26 words per minute with an accuracy of 96%. Now, there's lots of free resources out there for you to practice your typing skills. Let's have a look at just one quick one and I'll leave some links below that you can access if you need some extra help with your typing skills. All right, so here's a free sample typing practice application that you can use online, and you basically just need to type what you're seeing on the screen there. So uh, if you're reasonably familiar with, with a, a keyboard, you probably won't find this too difficult. Uh, if you make a mistake, as I just did then, as I'm tapping away and gabbling on at the same time, having to have a sneak peek at the keyboard every now and then, what you'll find is the little red letters will show up, and that indicates that you press the wrong key at that particular time. So naturally, in a typing test where 96% uh, accuracy is fairly high. We can't afford to be rushing, but at the same time, there's a time limit. We've got to get 26 words out uh, in one minute, which should be fairly easy to do if you're reasonably familiar with the keyboard. Okay, so here's just one example. There's lots like this. I'll put a link to this one below so you can have a play with it. 
uh, but there's a number of different modes on the side here. You can go to practice mode. Um, there's different settings here that you can you can select. You can look at the keyboard layout. There's all sorts of um, different tools that you can use here um, to help you with your, your typing practice if you need some extra help. Okay, so there's the two components that you'll need to be able to pass the computer competency part of the recruitment test. As always, I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.